The Smarties in the middle! I want to see them! <laughs> Adam's just ran down the stairs saying, I'm going to give you the camera and you can film if you want. So, I suppose that means... I want you to film. So, I'm currently making Adam a cake. I feel like I can hear you listening. I can hear Adam. I'm currently making Adam a cake and I haven't followed a recipe because I'm really rushing. It's like really thick. Like, that shouldn't be what a cake does. So I think I'm going to have to make another one and just see how this one goes. Um, I wanted to make a raspberry cake because I had left over raspberries but I've just come home and realised that my raspberries are all mouldy. Um, so I kind of grated a bit of orange into this but not enough because it didn't really look very fresh either. I'm just patting this down. Um, I want to make it a like surprise cake um, where you cut into it and have lots of sweets fall out. Mostly for me because I'm into that kind of thing. This is what it's looking like currently. Like a bit of a pile of poo. It doesn't really fit in the tin very well. So I'm going to put it in there. It'll turn down the temperature a little bit. Set the timer, let's give it, let's give it 17 minutes and then we will check it. Hello! So I thought I would take a breather and say hello to you because Adam just handed me the camera and then I just started panic baking and filming. Um, so it's Adam's birthday on Saturday the 6th of October. It is currently Thursday before his birthday um, at like 9 o'clock and I'm baking, obviously. Um, I'm about to start baking my second batch while the first batch is in the oven. Mostly because I need two cakes to sandwich together to like cut the whole middle out and kind of put all of the sweets inside. So maybe that one hopefully will work. I think I'll make it work anyway. If it's not edible, he can just eat the top of it. I'm going to microwave this. Put that in the microwave for 10 seconds and then I'm going to just do a classic sponge basically. Now it's time to add in the flour. I'm doing this all very haphazardly. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. A little more. Okay, that's that. And then I need some cocoa powder. I bought really cheap cocoa powder and I know you're supposed to buy really good cocoa powder if you want a good cake. This isn't a time for a good cake. This is just time for a happy birthday cake that needs to be done quickly. Sorry, Adam, if you think you're getting a really delicious tasting cake, you're not, okay? You're just not. I haven't got time for that. That's currently what it looks like. Oh, can't do this one-handed. <laughs> I'm just finishing up, like, what's it called? Folding all the flour and stuff in. And this one's actually looking much better than the first one. Um, let's take a look over here and see what this one's got doing. It's got four minutes left. I'm not going to open the oven because then all the air will come out. But it's looking pretty good. It's not looking that bad. It's got a weird little nipple thing going on. But it's rising and that's good. And it's flat, which is good. Because I need it flat. Adam's not going to be very happy with me because I'm not making my own frosting. Because I just don't have time. I know that's really, like, it takes so little time. But I'm just going to go with a, a shop-bought one. And this is what I have to go in the cake. Some buttons, some Haribo, and some M&Ms. I wanted colourful things, and then I knew I'd want a bit of chocolate, and then I can put some of the stuff on the top as well. It's going to be great. Right, I have just got the cakes out. That's the last cake out of the oven. The first cake um, I got out a while ago, and it's just cooling. Um, it's not too bad. It's all right. It's a bit of a weird shape, but for a rush job, I think it's going to be okay. So I think I might leave that one as it is. Let this one cool, which is a bit thicker. And then cut the middle out of that one and put sweets in it and then put the other one on top so it kind of is hidden. I'm going to attempt to get this out. It's not got a spun bottom, the other one did. Where do I put it? Where do I put it? Right. right so it's now like quarter past ten and I'm getting pretty tired. So I've decided that I think I'm just going to leave the cakes as they are. But I have cut out the middle of this cake. Um, yes, yeah, so I've squeezed 
some of the leftover juice and like kind of drizzled it on the cake and then i've cut out the middle of the cake the cake is still very hot and quite under baked so when i cut out the circle it's like really super gooey i still think that once it's like um set it kind of carries on cooking for a bit because i've done it when it's really hot but i cut the bit that's kind of cooked off um like the top of the bottom of the cake actually this is and i'm just going to put that in there and kind of squidge it down this is just kind of so that um the cake has a bottom um because i don't want if we move it or anything um that they all leak out the bottom all of the sweets so i'm just doing that um the hole is not super big i don't want to get rid of loads of the cake it's kind of just a novelty um to have some sweets in there and i'll be able to put some stuff on the side um so that's that but i don't want to put the sweets in now because it's so hot um but then this cake will just come and kind of sit on top um and i'll sandwich them together sorry the kitchen is an absolute mess <laughs> i'll sandwich them together with the frosting and then just do some frosting on the outside frosting on the top and just decorate it and it'll just look like a regular cake um but now i am so tired so now i'm kind of just going to tidy up um put the cakes in there and just go to bed um and maybe get up early tomorrow and do it i'd love it if i could but there you go that is me making adam's birthday cake um <laughs> part one i guess the next clip maybe will be part two who knows <laughs> see you guys i just thought you guys should know or you would might want to know i scraped off the gooey bit of that gooey mess that i showed you and it's actually really yummy mm. It's like crunchy on the outside and super gooey and raw on the inside, but actually quite nice. It's kind of more like a brownie than a cake. But I'm okay with that. Guys, major emergency. I just picked up the top of the cake to bring it over. I was like, oh, I'll just put it on top and then I can put it in the thing. And it and, it, and I broke it in half. I picked it up and then this just bit just came off. And there's still more of it over here somewhere, I think. There's just like crumbs and little bits of cake. I don't know what to do with it, like what don't know. Mmm, yummy. But I'm hoping I can just sort of glue that back together and cover it in loads of frosting and stuff. And then that'll be okay, hopefully. I realized when you guys clicked on this video to watch me make Adam's birthday cake, you probably didn't expect this weird, uh, I don't know, rock of weird holiness. Not perfect, but made with love, okay? And it's the thought that counts, even if this <laughs> did break off. Whoopsie, just put that there, okay? Bye-bye. Good morning, guys. It's so early. It's like six o'clock in the morning. Um, I can barely see out of my really puffy eyes. Um, I've got up really early and quickly got changed so that I can decorate Adam's cake. And you'll have to excuse the really puffy face and dark circles. Um, let's get out the cake. See if it survived the night. So the plan is I'm going to take this top off carefully because it's broken in half. So I obviously broke this in half, so I'm going to take half of it off um, and see if I can get the other half off. But it's kind of stuck to it, I maybe shouldn't have done this. It's kind of stuck without anything and it's so dense and brownie like. I've got it. <laughs> Let's see what the damage is. Not bad, we've got a hole here. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to open the m and the m ms are good because they're really colourful. There's some of those in and Starbucks, but I've got these super mix. The good thing about these is I think that you can choose whatever sweets that you want and it doesn't really matter. I might give them a little mix around. <laughs> they all pour out at the same time. 
And I do have buttons as well, but I think I might just put those on the top. Put a few more of these in. So I didn't make my hole very big, and that's kind of on purpose because I didn't want to get rid of loads of cake. Um, but also, I don't think you want to overfill it because then it wouldn't pour out. Um, so I think maybe having more M&Ms is key because they're a bit sticky. Let's do that. That's fine. So now I'm going to use my chocolate frosting that I shop bought because I didn't have enough time to make buttercream. I've got a powder knife. I'm just going to mix it around a bit, get it all nice consistency. Um, it kind of changes colour a little bit when you do this. Um, and then I'm literally just going to spread it on the cake, not worrying about covering the whole, um, but just making sure that I've got enough kind of glue to stick it together. Um, right, so I have roughly covered um, pretty much all the sides and the top. Um, it's pretty rough, but that's okay. It kind of goes with it, and I can stick some buttons on it. And now I need to try and stick these two pieces together. I'm currently using this as a little stand. Probably shouldn't. Oh, hurry, bow. Mm. Right. I think I'm going to glue this edge um, just to stick it together a bit. If it's got loads, I don't care. Again, I have covered the whole thing in chocolate spread. Or chocolate frosting it's kind of falling apart here this bit here wants to come off but i'm just like ignoring it and now i'm going to cover it in buttons and sprinkles and just cover it all up there you have it my lopsided covered in chocolate covered in sprinkles covered in chocolate filled with chocolate and filled with sweeties for adam's 25th birthday <laughs> sleep tight little angel oh no i should not put this on one-handed <laughs> got it so that's all ready to go and i've got some candles out so i've got leftover sweets that i'm just gonna like i don't know i guess just wrap up and we can just have but not until after i was gonna put some m&ms on here but i think the key is that you don't want to show too much what's inside the cake um but yeah i'm pretty chuffed with that it's not bad now it is 20 to 7 so i've got some time i might have breakfast and I might even take a nap because I'm so tired. Thanks guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that Adam likes his cake. Like it. Like this video if you like it. Or if you like that it's so bad it's good. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for. So bad it's good. Um, yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next week when you guys probably see more of Adam's birthday. Because I already showed you the cake. But it is... Well, for you guys, it was yesterday, so give this birthday, what? <laughs> it's six in the morning, guys, I'm very tired. Give this video um, a thumbs up if you want to wish Adam a happy birthday and write a happy birthday message in the comments and I'll make sure that he replies. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy birthday Bye. to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Day to you. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. That is such a good cake. But he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and nobody can deny. I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants the gizzard? I do. Too late. That'll be mine. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. Thanks, Hope. She made this. She baked it with her own two feet. Oh yeah, she's a foot baker. Come on. Can I have a plate, please? Da -da -da -da. 
The Smarties in the middle! I want to see them! <laughs> it's a Smartie cake! There's Smarties in there! Look! <laughs> they all and jelly babies! That's a super duper unicorn cake. <laughs> yeah, there's hidden gems in here, like a jelly baby, mom. Mm -hmm. You want mine, yeah? Mm-hmm. You sure you don't want to save it for me? <laughs> this is why we did the cake on Friday night. So that we could have it Friday and Saturday. Plate. Hey, does somebody's cut a hole out of my cake? It's because all the Smarties <laughs> are in there. Do you want to know the second surprise? What's the second? They're M&M's. That's cool. That's even better than <laughs> Smarties. I, these are expensive. <laughs> I need a spoon to get them out. Smarty cake. It's so colourful, unicorn style. 